everyone, welcome back uh, once again to my channel. This time I'm bringing you guys another interview before we head to Brazil lock-in event. And I've got Sochni from BBL joining me today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, it's great to finally speak to you, bro. Uh, first of all, welcome to BBL. Um, I think this Thanks. is a, a big moment for a lot of Turkish players, especially yeah. being able to play in VCT. You've been on a lot of very good teams. You know, you've been on Fireflux, you've been on SMB. Um, what's it like right now on BBL? Is there any difference uh, being on this org compared to the others? Yeah, of course, B playing in BBL is like much different. Like you're at the top level in your region. You know that you're playing for the best org, and the teammates are also great. It's it's really nice to be in here. Uh, I also wanted to ask you. Obviously, you're coming in as an in-game leader, right? Um, BBL have had a couple of in-game leaders and some big names too, uh, especially in the Turkish scene. What's it like IGLing this team right now? It's it's pretty good to be IGLing in like the max individual level teammates like they're at their best as individual and we're trying to make it best possible to make it as like team chemistry so it's it's really nice to play with the guys do you think there is a problem when it comes to uh, maybe the lack of IGLs in Turkey? Because before you joined this team, I, I believe Kute was uh, at one point IGLing too, right? Yeah. It doesn't seem to be a lot of options. Do you feel that way? Yeah, I think there's not a lot of op options in the Turkish region because of the like FPS culture. It's currently under development, so I think that's why. That's uh, why we lack of IGLs, yeah. But why the IGL role specifically? Because there's not a lack of uh, duelists. There's not a lack of uh, yeah. players that can shoot heads, though. Because, like, the IGLing is not an individual thing. Like, you need to be on the same page as, like, five or six players in the team. And, like, since the, uh, since the culture is under development, like, it's not only about the IGLs. Like, players are also in... Uh, development stage right now so like it takes everyone to be in like best shape in like five years after this and uh, the IGLs can be more into like we can talk about more IGLs in the future you know like it's not about only the IGL problems like we need to have like really good coaches and we don't have like culture back then like Valorant just started the culture, FPS culture in like uh, in the Turkey. So I think in the five years from now on, I think it will be the in the best shape in Turkey. You just you need time, right? You, you feel yeah, like you yeah. need time to develop. Is there a reason why you decided to be an IGL then? Because it doesn't sound like a role that many people want to do right now in Turkey. Yeah, like a lot of IGLs. I don't think they choose to be an IGL. Like. IGLing chooses you, you know, like, I think it's same for everyone in like Europe, in North America and Korea, I, I don't know, like it's, it should be same for everyone because someone needs to take the lead and someone needs to take responsibilities. The IGLing chooses you basically, yeah. Uh, how did that happen with you then, kind of, at what point in your career did this kind of responsibility fall uh, onto you? Yeah, uh, I was playing in EU, like, Orglas teams like in the peanuts and I had offer from a uh, Turkish region like Turkish org and I stepped in for the roster and I said I need to be IGLing for this team otherwise uh, it's gonna be bad for us and uh, that's what, how my IGLing story be become started. Do you enjoy it? Yeah I do enjoy it. Yeah. Like, what, what aspect? When hard, when hard working pays off like when my teammates uh, sees the hard working uh, paid off in the server it's the most beautiful thing in the world so that's that's the bit of this thing do you feel more pressure because if you look at the history of bbl they have had a bit of a pattern of uh dropping and changing and picking up different IGLs. I mean, I feel like they, they've tried their hardest to pick up as many good IGLs as they can. You know, they went through yeah, Pora, who was one of the best at the time. Uh, they had Cider X come in as well. How much pressure is there for you to make sure that you guys perform? I think like the pressure is uh, it's a good thing to be, to myself, you know, pre 
pressure is privilege. So like I'm here, I get the pressure because I deserve it. So pressure makes me feel like more focused to my goals. You know, that that's a good thing for me. I don't feel like bad pressure. I feel like a good pressure. That's that's really good for me. I like that. You're gonna enjoy that, Alan. I feel like when you when you yeah. really are feeling it. Um, and speaking of like your the trajectory of your career, you know, you've been grinding a lot. Like you said, some Orglis teams, then you were grinding at S and B and Fireflux as well. Now you've joined BBL, and then like within two months, three months of joining BBL, you're gonna be going to Brazil to your first ever international tournament. Um, so how are you feeling about that, and how do you think this tournament is going to be? It, it's it's really good. Like. At the first time when I was in like Supermassive, I was, I, f I felt so sad that I couldn't go to Brazil. But like right now, I'm so happy. I think I deserve it, and we need to show our best. We need to like use this chance to show our best potential. Yeah. I mean, so many things are happening to you like very fast because not only do you get to go to Brazil, but your opening game is against one of the best teams, you know, one of yeah. the most famous teams in the world as well. Uh, what do you make of DRX? I think it's a good matchup for us because like we're, we're going to play at the top level. So we need to play against the like top tier of the top level teams. So I'm pretty happy that we, we draw DRX and like we're pretty hyped about to play against them and show our, our limits. Like we need to uh, scare our enemies for the Berlin and uh, use DRX for this. So I think it's really good matchup for us, yeah. I mean, if you beat DRX, I think everyone's going to be scared, <laughs> not just yeah. uh, not just the European teams. But in your perspective, you know, how how do you beat a team like DRX? Because for you, again, you're coming into this, um, you know, you even though you've been playing for a while now, for a long time in Valorant, you're going to be facing an IGL like Stax. I think he's going to be IGLing. I know sometimes they kind of like change yeah, things does. around. And he's one of the most experienced IGLs on the international stage. So how do you defeat uh, a team with so much experience i think we need to like build chemistry for the brazil and, and play our like in the best chemistry that we can and like uh, play out them in like the early stages in the matches like we we need to pressure them in the early stages of the matches and like we can make them feel pressure there yeah I mean, yeah, we they they they've popularized like the Turk, uh, the the Korean even the Korean jet. I think early on they had the Korean jet. You guys obviously going to want to show up and show like what well, the yeah, Turkish jet, show... right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're going to show the Turkish jet creatures. <laughs> the, I mean, I think I've spoken to them a little bit before, and they did say that when they were pracking in Europe, a lot of the Turkish teams um, seemed to really impress them as well. So uh, I don't know. It could, it could be definitely could be a, a a better matchup. I think people already is giving credit um for it uh but i also wanted to ask you because one of the i think toughest things um when it comes to bbl not inside turkey but playing other teams for example european teams is the map pool because um everyone knows turkey on ascent you know that that's solid that's always been solid but there have been a couple of areas where at bbl especially in the past the map pool has let them down a little bit um, yeah. How is the map pool right now for you guys, especially since like Split is coming back? There's another new map as well going to Brazil. I think uh, our map pool is like really, really good right now. We play every map, and like Split was my best map. Like I feel really confident, confident about the Split. Like I've that was my basically main map uh, in the in the future uh, in the past. I'm sorry. Uh, I think we have really good map pool to play against the rx it's gonna be it's not gonna be a thing that it should come come down to vetoes you know i think it's gonna be okay in the future once you get on the server i guess it's uh it doesn't yeah. really matter what map you're playing it feels yeah. like <laughs> um now bbl i've i've seen some tier lists i don't know if you have uh some people haven't been no. Yeah, they haven't been the most kind about BBL. I think uh, a lot of people have been putting them a lot, a bit lower down in their tier lists. Um, but obviously, you guys have been working on new things. Um, they, you, you're a new IGL coming to the team, which always makes a big difference. If I had to ask you right now uh, to put BBL in a tier list, so like S tier, A tier, B tier, and so on, um, which tier do you would you put BBL in? I think in our best shape, I would put ourselves in A tier for sure. Like, 
I'm pretty confident about this. Uh, I think if we show our best, like in, in, if our if we are in the best shape that we are currently in, I think we are in the A tier for sure. How how confident are you that you are going to be in your best shape by the time you go to Brazil? I think it will depend on the circumstances on Brazil. Like we need to breathe the Brazil air, and we can uh, see that after. You know, I think we should, we have to, and we will do our best to be in our best shape. So. Yeah. <clears throat> Is there anything that you're maybe concerned about? So uh, anything that you feel like could potentially not put you in a good shape if they were to happen? I don't know. I think the opposite of this question, I think playing against Brazil t Brazilian team would make us so much hyped in the, in the stage. I feel like the only thing about when we saw the DRX, I felt sad that we're not playing against Brazilian team in the first match. So. I think it, if that would happen, I think we would be in the like best shape. We, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, this is a dangerous question, but do you feel like the Turkish fans are more uh, passionate or the Brazilian fans are more passionate? <laughs> They're both passionate. <laughs> yeah. They're both crazy. <laughs> but I feel like that's going to be, if you do play against a Brazilian team, I know like the, the game is going to be interesting, but I feel like the, the fan base... Like them yeah. going against each other, I want to see who who can win out on that one as well. <laughs> yeah, same thing. <laughs> uh, but uh, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I really appreciate your time, and uh, I hope I get to see you guys play against a, a Brazi Brazilian team in Brazil. Uh, let's make that happen. <laughs> I hope so. Thank you for having me here. Thank you, Yinsu.